With the next Mass Effect game currently in development, fans are desperate to know if Commander Shepard is returning. And while some fans are ready to let Shepard go, I'd still say that the majority of fans want Shepard to return. And with the new game keeping its next protagonist a secret, fans have come up with some pretty interesting theories on how Shepard could return. So let's explore one of those theories. Clone Shepard. Now there are several iterations of this theory, but the most common version is that Cerberus could clone Shepard, again, with the same DNA they would have used to clone the first clone Shepard that we meet in the Citadel DLC. There is also the version where Liara could find a way with her Shadow Broker resources, or that somehow the Alliance was able to clone Shepard. And some fans have even speculated that the Geth could somehow clone Shepard. There's several different versions that the fans have come up with. And before we get into this, I want to preface this by saying I do want Shepard back, but only if it was the right story and only if it respected the choices that came before, and who knows if that is even possible. So while I love theories about how Shepard could return, I wanted to present this one piece of evidence on why I think Bioware would not clone Shepard. The Citadel DLC. Now the Citadel DLC establishes that cloning Shepard is possible and that Cerberus has the resources to do it. And at this point, I'm sure if Cerberus could clone someone, other organizations would be able to do so as well. So the real question isn't if a Shepard clone is possible because it clearly is. The technology already exists and Shepard's DNA has already been taken to do just this. The real question is, would Bioware clone Shepard again? The most important part of this entire question is that when we play the Citadel DLC, there is a distinct difference between our Shepard and Clone Shepard that Bioware has already established. Clone Shepard is not our Shepard. This clone is only Shepard in name. They do not share the same memories or experiences or feelings, which is made pretty clear throughout the DLC. Clone Shepard is so detached that they have a fundamental misunderstanding of why Shepard is so important, even going so far as to claim that Shepard was always meant to be a lone wolf. I'm the real thing, perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be, without the emotional baggage holding me back. We know this isn't true. It goes against everything the games establish. This clone is even resentful towards Shepard and their established companions, calling them the Cult of Shepard. This Shepard is so far removed from what we know Shepard to be that this Shepard is also pro-human, anti-alien, and that's part of their entire mission. Our Shepard, who allies with all sorts of aliens, would never take that stance. This clone is a pathetic imitation of everything that makes Shepard great. And you're just a pale imitation of the real thing. Bioware establishes through the narrative that you are Shepard. You are special. Your Shepard is unique and important, and not even a DNA-created clone can recreate that. The writers also give us the choice to have sympathy for our clone. Maybe we sympathize with seeing how detached they are from us and are struggling to find that identity. Maybe we feel sorry for them because they're such a loser. So do we kill them or do we help them? This decision is fairly disconnected from our Shepard because, like I said, Bioware has already established through the narrative and interactions between these two that even though they are clones, this clone is not us. But if you do try to save Clone Shepard, they specifically say, what makes you so special? Why you and not me? Look at you. What makes you so damn special? Why you and not me? Which is full of resentment. Even if you try to save the clone, they still let go and fall to their death, probably finally realizing that they'll never be us. And I'm sure some people would argue that the Citadel DLC is intended to be fun and lighthearted, so we shouldn't take it seriously when it comes to how the cloning works. But I'd argue against that because of all the lore that is actually fleshed out in the archives during your hunt for the clone. So no, I don't think Bioware would make us play as a clone again. When they have already established how special and unique our original Shepherds are, and that this clone is nowhere close to being our shepherd. But let's still explore the questions around this for the sake of any and all possibilities. If we're talking about Shepard being cloned after Mass Effect 3, then how would that happen? Would someone find their body after the wreckage in the perfect destroy ending? Even if they have Shepard's physical body, 
we've already seen it established that cloning only results in the physical body being cloned and not any type of memories or emotions. So how could Shepard's consciousness be retrieved? I've seen a lot of people say that the Geth could have saved a copy of Shepard's consciousness, but I find that extremely jarring. Shepard isn't a program. And even if that was possible, the consciousness that the Geth would have uploaded would have been from the mission pre-Mass Effect 3's ending. That would make this Shepard removed from everything surrounding those choices. And what if someone chose Synthesis? Shepard no longer has a body for DNA to be retrieved from, so they'd have to access the DNA that Cerberus had. And it seems like Cerberus is mostly destroyed, so would they even have Shepard's DNA still lying around? What if someone chose Control? So there would already be a Shepard consciousness out there. If there was a Shepard clone, there would essentially be two Shepards. And who would be the one to clone Shepard? And would the story pick up as it was happening, or would we find out later, like another Mass Effect 2 situation, where everyone thought Shepard was dead for two years? There's a ton of questions the devs would have to explain pretty extensively if this was how Shepard returned. More so than if they just canonized the Destroy ending which is why I think this theory is too far-fetched. This theory also expands to the companions because if Shepard returns, would our companions need to also return? If we have any type of time jump into the future, then half of our companions wouldn't be alive. Any human, Turian, and Salarian companions would be dead. So would they also need to be cloned? And that opens up a whole other mess. Would you even bring back a clone Shepard without having all your previous companions? And if you did, how would that affect your relationships and romances with this new clone Shepard, who wouldn't have any memories or experiences of the past? These are just some things to think about surrounding this theory. Personally, I think cloning Shepard wouldn't make for a good story. I think it would be too convoluted following the events of Mass Effect 3, whether they have to canonize an ending or not. And I know a lot of people will disagree with me on that because this is a very popular theory and something a lot of fans want. And listen, I want Shepard back too, but not for some lazily written plot that disconnects me from my own Shepard. I also have to think about what Mike Gamble said about Commander Shepard in 2011. Gamble specifically said that Shepard's story is complete in an interview with PC Gamer. Sure, he could have said this to cover for any future plans or he could have changed his mind. But when asked in a follow-up question whether Shepard wouldn't return in any future games, Gamble confirmed that Shepard would not be returning. Now that interview is over 10 years old at this point, so maybe things have changed or maybe Gamble has stuck to his word and will see a different protagonist in Mass Effect 5. I have to remind myself about Gamble saying this pretty often so that I can curb my own expectations, but I would really love for Shepard to return. But I also chose Destroy with Shepard's breath and my romance is Liara. So my choices would already be the perfect setup for a sequel, but that is not the case for a lot of people. I broke down the stats that Bioware released back in 2021 regarding people's choices and less than half even chose Destroy and less than that would have gotten Shepard's breath. So any type of bringing Shepard back would mean that Bioware would override more than half of the fan base's choice. Sure, some of these were probably just picking other options to explore all possibilities, but even so, it's a pretty big discrepancy between the choices. I do think though that there are a lot of fans who would accept their choices being disregarded if it meant Shepard returned, and I think Bioware knows it too. Commander Shepard returning would be a major moment for gaming, and I like to fantasize about Jennifer Hale and Mark Muir getting up on stage to announce their return as Commander Shepard and the whole crowd going wild. So anyways, what do you think of this theory? Would you accept a clone Shepard or not? And who do you think would be the one to clone Shepard in the first place? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more Mass Effect theories and news. Thank you for watching.